In this lesson, we'll learn about using VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP will find a lookup value in a table or list, and it will return the corresponding value of another column. So it's very similar to looking something up in, let's say, a catalog or a phone list. In this case, we're going to be looking up a product name and determining the unit price for that particular product. Now our product list is on another worksheet. It's on the lists worksheet. And we've got a little list here that tells our product names in the first column and then the unit prices in the second column. So this is the list we're going to use to determine what our unit price is going to be in this worksheet. There are three pieces of required information to perform a VLOOKUP properly. And I'm going to explain each of those here. So let's do equals and VLOOKUP as our function name. And we'll see that there are three pieces of information that are required and one piece of information that is optional. So let's take this piece by piece. The lookup value is the cell reference that you want to find within the list. So that is in our case going to be D6, the binder. So D6 is our lookup value. We're going to type a comma. The table array is the range containing the columns for both the lookup and the return values. So in this case, while I'm still in edit mode and my cursor is still flashing within my function, I'm going to click on the lists tab and you'll see that my function is still here in the formula bar and it's placed lists worksheet name with an exclamation mark. And I'm going to choose from B2 through C10 as my array. Okay, I'm going to do a comma. And now the next piece of information is the column index number. Now we don't just look at the columns themselves and say, okay, this is in column C, so it's the third column. What we want to do is we want to determine what the column index number is within our array. So column B is the first column within the array that we selected, and column C is actually the second column. So here Excel is looking for a number. We want column number two. And then we're going to close this out with a parentheses. And we're going to press enter. And when we do that, it's going to take us back to our original worksheet. And it's going to tell us that the binder is $8. OK, so that was a simple VLOOKUP. However, there are a couple of rules and a couple of things that we need to know about VLOOKUPs in order for these to work properly, especially when you're copying and pasting this formula to other cells. So what I want to show you here is if we copied this down, you'll notice that a lot of these values become errors. And we want to find out why this happened. So as we troubleshoot and take a look at our cells, we'll see that the first cell, our range was B2 to C10. And if you click in the next cell, our array has changed from B2 to C10 to now B3 to C11, and so on. So relative referencing applies to this as we go. And so there are a couple of things that we can do to alleviate this issue that happens within our range selections in VLOOKUP. One of the things that we can do is we can select this range from B2 to C10, which is our table array, and we can make that absolute by pressing F4. And now when we copy that, all of the values are placed properly within those cells. And then double check a couple of the values, make sure they're accurate. Ruler should be 225, pen should be $1.50, rulers are 225 and pens are $1.50. So we can see that that worked properly and our VLOOKUP is looking up the correct unit price for each product. And that concludes our lesson on using VLOOKUP.